Hello, welcome to Prosy Technologies. I am Prakash. In this session, we're gonna see what is Azure Logic Caps and also one of the important use case scenario how to send success or failure email notification from a pipeline using Azure Data Factory. If you do not know what is pipeline or Azure Data Factory, then please refer to my earlier video tutorial Azure Data Factory, which is in the below description. Let's see what is Azure Logic Caps. It is a cloud service provided by Microsoft Azure, which is used to schedule automate tasks. This is also used for sending email notifications. This is what we're going to see in our demo. In this use case scenario, we're going to create a Azure Data Factory pipeline. In this pipeline, we're going to call a stored procedure activity. If this stored procedure executed successfully, then we will send a successful email notification Else, if this stored procedure fails, then we will send a failure notification to the user. For this purpose, we will use a web activity. This web activity will be linked to the newly created logic app for sending success or failure notifications. Let's jump into the demo. In this Azure portal, we are going to search for logic apps. Type logic apps in the search box. Click on it. This opens up into a new window where we're going to add a new one. So click on add, give a meaningful name, select the existing resource group, select one of the location, then just create it. So this deploys, deployment is in progress and it has been created. Just refresh here so that you can see the new logic app, proxy logic app has been created. Click on it. This opens up a new window and here we win logic apps designer. This is where we're going to design our logic app. So click on it. So this opens up a new window. So here scrolling down, we're going to select when a HTTP request is received. This is where we're going to use for our email notification. So click on that. So currently we're not going to do anything here. Okay. Then uh, we'll be selecting uh, Outlook here, where we're going to send mails. So select Outlook. So click on Outlook.com. So we're going to select one of the action like uh, we're going to send an email. So type like send an email and select its uh, activity. So we can see, yes, it is here. Select the send an email activity. So sign in your current account. I'm signing into my current uh, Outlook account. So accept it and yes and here we're going to send a mail to proxy and with a subject logic app testing and uh, the content of uh, the message that is in the mail is running in logic app to get an email. Go to top left corner and save this. So the logic has been saved. Now we're going to run this. So I clicked on run. So make sure that everything is fine. So once it is successful, yes, it is successful right now. Once it is successful, we will get an email for testing purpose. So let's go back to the Outlook account and check whether we got, yes, we got an email notification here. So I'm going back to my email and there you can see that we got an email. The subject, the content, everything is what we have given in the logic app. So it is successfully working. So far we have seen how to create a Azure Logic App. Now we're going to work in Azure Data Factory that we'll be creating a pipeline calling stored procedure and web activity and connect our newly created Logic App for email notifications. Let's jump into Azure Data Factory. So in this Azure portal, we're going to search for data factories. So click on it. This opens up into a new window. We are going to use the existing data factory, which is Proxy ADF. Click on that. Now click on this author and monitor button where data factory dashboard opens. So here click on this author. This opens up into a data factory editor. Here we're going to create a new pipeline. Click on add new pipeline. So we're going to create 
a small store procedure so in the activities select store procedure activity click and drop here so now we're gonna create a small store procedure in azure sql server so for this purpose we will uh, log into sql server management studio here we're gonna write a very simple statement like select one by one so which gives a result one so we're gonna copy this query and put it into a stored procedure so create the stored procedure the main purpose of this stored procedure is to make sure that it executes and it does not throw any error so it's successful now we are back to the data factory pipeline and we are gonna map that newly created stored procedure here so let's see how to do that click on that stored procedure and select SQL account so select one of the link service if you do not know what is a link service then please watch my earlier video tutorial named Azure Data Factory where I have explained what is link service and how to create a new one so select the link service click on test connection so everything is fine go to stored procedure select the stored procedure which we have created click on that now the stored procedure part is completed what we're gonna do is now we're gonna run this stored procedure and if it is successful we're gonna send an email so for this purpose we have to connect that earlier created logic app here to connect a logic app we need a web activity in pipeline so go to activities and select for web so drag here so give a meaningful name so I kept web email notification then go to settings and here it needs an URL so for this URL we are going back to the Azure portal into the logic apps click on the logic apps we have created proxy logic app before so click on that so go to view and logic apps designer click on that and here click on that HTTP request and here you see that there is an URL so please copy that now go back to the pipeline click on the web activity so copy that uh, URL here so it's copied select method as post as we have selected and here in this body content we are gonna write a message this message will be reflected in the body of the email for example see the screenshot this is how we are gonna get in the email the details like uh, the pipeline has been successfully completed and also we are specifying the data factory name you are specifying the pipeline name and just passing a message that the pipeline completed successfully meaning that we are gonna dynamically pass the message from this web activity to pass value dynamic message I have to make a small change in the logic apps so let's go back to the logic app in the Azure portal in the logic app click on that send an email here we're gonna erase that uh, body content and we're gonna drag that message activity here that's it so save it close this and also open the HTTP request here we're gonna dynamically pass a JSON script I tell you why to pass the dynamic data factory name and a message and a pipeline because as we discussed earlier so we're gonna get an email which looks like that so which has the data factory name and also the pipeline name so these values are dynamically passed from pipeline so for that purpose in this logic app we have to dynamically give the JSON script which should have this data factory pipeline and messages I have copied JSON script in the below video description please take from there save these changes and go back to the pipeline so in this web activity body content 
we're gonna write the message script as per in the screenshot with dynamic parameters of data factory name and pipeline name. I copied the message script here. I will explain what they are. First, it is a message. This is what we're going to dynamically pass. Just successful run of the pipeline. Then the parameter for data factory name. So after executing, the data factory name would be like proxy ADF. Then pipeline parameter, the value would be like pipeline one. So then we have a small message, the pipeline completed successfully. This script is in the video description. You can take from there. I remind you again, this message is passed to the logic app here. Click on the send an email so you can see a message. So this is where it has been passed. So now the web activity is also ready. So give a meaningful name to the pipeline. So we're going to validate it. There is no errors. So we can debug it so that if the stored procedure is successful, we'll get an email. It's running. You can see it's in progress. Yes, it succeeded. Both stored procedure and web activity has succeeded. So go back to the email and check whether we got an email or not. Yes, we can see that we got an email. So click on that. So we got the same message which we have passed in the web activity. We also got the parameter values, data factory and pipeline name. So we are going back to the pipeline. So this web activity is for the successful email. So we are going to create another web activity, same as this for failure notification. We are going to connect uh, this stored procedure, the failure activity to the second web activity. So when this stored procedure fails, this has to be executed. So go to the body of this uh, web activity. So we are going to change slightly in the success one. So delete that and uh, change to pipeline failed. And now we are going to change the stored procedure because currently it is successfully running. So we are going to make a small change so that it fails and it throws an error so that this will be captured in the web activity too and we'll get a failure email notification. So go back to SQL Server Management Studio and uh, alter this procedure. So here we're gonna change the query as select one by zero, which means that it will throw an error, do it by zero error. So this is what we're gonna change in the procedure executed. So this should throw an error. Now go back to the pipeline. So just renaming uh, the name for these web activities. The second one has failure, first one has uh, success for easy understanding. Now everything is ready. So we can uh, validate. So there is no error. Then we can debug it. So which means that we're expecting that the stored procedure fails. And also the second web activity should be executed and it should be successful. Yes, we can see that the stored procedure has been failed and the web activity has been successful. So you should have got an email now. Let's go back to the email window and check for the failure notification. Yes, we got it. Here you can see that uh, pipeline failed. Yes. So which means that this web activity too has been triggered now because of the stored procedure failure. We can even check the failure details of the stored procedure. Click on that uh, small error icon. So here you can see that this is failed because of divide by zero error. So in this way, we can send success or failure email notifications using web activity connecting the logic caps. Please refer to the video description for the scripts. We have come to the end of this session. So in this way, we can easily send out email notifications using logic caps in the web activity. For all the scripts and other tutorial links, please check in the below video description. Thank you.
support me by subscribing to my channel for more videos have a great day